Oh, hey, it's uh, somebody or other. I mean, if you don't know my name by now, you've, you should probably go back and watch a few other videos and, you know, comment on them and leave a like or something. Um, hey, <laughs> this has been a bizarre week. Um, it started off with digging some post holes, uh, which I'll show you in a bit. I mean, that's not bad at all. Uh, also went through and got the official probate started, uh, thanks to my cousin who flew out to do the amazing work of getting all this straightened out and ready to go. Uh, I just, I cannot thank her enough for uh, putting that together. Uh, there was also, uh, we started uh, trying to use the pressure washer and that ended up flooding the basement and uh, well this is the valve that I use to shut off this branch and uh, this is the one that leaks so it goes up and over here um, but as I have this valve shut off you can see that it is still letting little bits of water through The valve is leaking, and uh, I want to fix that, so I'm going to try and do that now. So the first thing I did is I just shut off the water main entirely, and I'm going to cut this out. What I have here is a shark bait connector. And I have had surprisingly good luck with shark bite connectors on copper. So uh, <laughs> this is my fix for this particular uh, leak or this particular issue. And then I'll just fill up the rest of the water line. And then this is isolated to where I can test it. So I think we're good for now. I really do want to make a uh, little plug cap for that though. Alright, so this is on here. Good. Uh, this is now stopped this part of the leaking. Uh, I've turned the water main back on and now this part is isolated to where I can put the air, fi air fixture on it and start diagnosing issues that way. But this immediate problem has now been solved. What I would like to do is make a little piece with a stub cap on it just, you know, to make it look pretty and so that there's not issues here. All right, a little stubby, but uh, it ain't pretty. It'll work for now. Now, we did get the leak fixed. Um, the, you know, got insurance called. There's still, you know, there's still an insurance investigator that needs to come out and check for mold and everything. But uh, it turned out to be one of these uh, frost-proof silcocks. And if you can see, that is a split. Uh, apparently what happened is the amount of hard water in here over the last, you know, 50 years or, you know, not quite 50 years has built up enough to the point where the silcock was held open just a little tiny bit 
and uh, apparently there was like a bug or something that clogged up the outlet end, and it let enough water trickle into the uh, the mid part shaft here, and when winter came, it froze and burst the pipe. And of course, we this was the first time we used it after winter, and that's exactly why it all flooded. Uh, the fun part was we did hook up the air compressor. Um, the the plumber came out to fix it, and we were trying to locate it, and I suggested the air compressor, and he thought that was a really good idea. Uh, so we hooked up the air compressor to the system and compressed it to about 60 PSI, and it held pressure. And that was bizarre. So he went out and plugged up the outlet on the uh, on the outside and then opened the valve, and boy, could I hear the air escaping. So... Yeah, we, we found it. There's a hole cut in the ceiling, um, and, you know, that'll have to be fixed too, but that's also something that I think the insurance will repair. Uh, not going to do it right now because they still have to come out for checking for mold, uh, and that's not going to be until mid-June. But the water itself is fixed, so that part's done. Um, I still have to do some other plumbing repairs just to, well, I have to get the water softener installed, and that's a whole other video in and of itself. But uh, I got my workbench moved over here. Um, it's, not, it's not perfect, but it's at least self-contained instead of spread out all over my space where I have to do work. Um, I've got uh, another project that's coming up, so I'm going to be doing two projects sort of simultaneously. It's like one is 80%, one is 20%. Um, but that's all looking really good. I'm doing cybersecurity now, uh, cybersecurity assessments and uh, reports. So that's an entirely new thing. Medical device cybersecurity is a very hot topic, which is kind of cool. Another thing that I did this week is uh, my friend Ron with the scooter had his scooter fail about 10 miles from home and it failed badly. His controller died. So this was sending out his second controller, kind of preparing it so that he could get to use it and put it together and hopefully get on the road again. Um, it's, you know, yet another thing to throw in the kitty this week. It's It's been a crazy week. We put in a garden. This is my sub-nephew, Tyson. I call him my sub-nephew because he is the son of my niece. And I don't want to feel old. He wanted a garden, and so we made a garden, and he's very proud of the garden, and I think it's turning out pretty cool. We've had a couple of the strawberries already. It's strawberries and onions, that's all. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'm going to try and get this done. It, this, is, this is Friday. <laughs> I mean, I'm pushing the boundaries on this one. So I'll try and get it done. And uh, I guess next week, see you guys.